Alright, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can automate dumplings on PlateUp. So dumplings were added recently in a recent update with the Chinese New Year update, Year of the Rabbit. And dumplings are a very fun one to automate, uh, which is actually really cool because dumplings are one of the fastest automations you can do. And one of the lower costing ones as well. But let's get into this. Before we get any further into the video, don't forget to like this video, please, because it really helps with that YouTube algorithm. It helps people to find my videos. Don't forget to comment down below as well. Comments help with the algorithm, and it also helps me to understand what you guys want to see. Don't forget to subscribe because we're really trying to grow. We're hoping to get to the first thousand subs by the end of this year. Don't forget to turn on those notifications as well because you'll get notified of all of my uploads and my live streams when I go live. And don't forget to join me on my socials. Those are all linked down below, but let's get back into the video. So when I talk about fully automating dumplings, I mean fully automating. I'm automating to the point where even stuff that needs to be discarded gets to start discarded correctly and all that stuff. So let's get into this. If you are unsure of how dumplings are made, it's very simple. So the way dumplings are made, you've got uh, your meat, which needs to be chopped, your carrots, which also need to be chopped, your flour, which needs to be turned into a ball of dough, and then all of them need to be combined, chopped again into dumplings, and then cooked. So in order to do this, I'm using the F2 Spawn Items Mod Manager, which allows you to spawn items in just so I can showcase this. So to start off with this automation, we're going to want three grabbers. Now, grabbers, of course, are important to any kind of automation because they like to grab from one location and pass to another, which is what ex is exactly what we need to do. So we're going to take three grabbers and make sure that they're pointing in the right direction, in this case, downwards, away from each of these. So the grabbers, of course, are going to grab from each of these onto the next section, which the next section is going to be mixers. Now, you can use either normal mixers or rapid mixers for this, either work. Um, but for this showcase, we'll use rapid mixers because they are faster. But normal mixers will work fine too. They are just a bit slower. So we'll quickly add all three of these mixers. So what's basically going to happen is the grabbers are going to pull from each of these points. And then for in case of the flour, it's going to pull onto here, into here, and then go into a ball of dough. In this one, it's just going to uh, chop the carrots. And in this one, it's just going to chop the meat. Now... You guys may be wondering, well, if it's going to keep going past dough, it's going to make a pie. This is true. We do have a way of discarding that. So, we'll get to that in a little bit, though. The next portion, we're going to want some smart grabbers. Now, smart grabbers are also very important for automation. Because they allow you to grab not only specific things, but specific stages of things. So, in the case of the dough, it's actually going to grab it when it's a dough ball rather than when it's a pie because if you use a normal grab it it'll just wait until it turns into a pie and it'll grab the pie we don't want that we want the ball of dough so we're going to enter practice mode quickly because you can teach smart grabbers in practice mode so we're going to go into practice mode i'm going to teach all three of these to grab things at the right stage so ball of dough chopped carrots chopped meat and we can leave practice mode now so now these have all been taught we're going to place them so meet one there make sure it's going in the right direction Carrot one there, right direction. Ball of dough, right direction. So now, they're grabbing from these points, going along the grabbers, into the rapid mixers, and then onto the smart grabbers. Now, for the next stage, I'm actually going to quickly go into the discard process. So as you guys have already probably realized, by the time that, you know, the dough has moved along here, this is going to get clogged because it's going to turn into a pie. We can sort that out. So we're actually going to get another smart grabber, and this smart grabber is going to specifically grab from this point when they turn into pies. So if we put that there and into practice mode again, I'm going to let the machine clog so I can get a pie base, because we need to teach the smart grabber in order to grab just the pie. So once it turns into a pie, we can now grab it, place it on the smart grabber, and we're done with practice mode. So we can enter that there and turn it away, so now it's going to pull pie bases. Now, you can do this in a way with one, two, or three compactor bins. So compactor bins are awesome because compactor bins only hold one item, but it will slowly discard that item over like 15 seconds. Now, the more bins you have, the less chance of a clog you're going to get. So I'll show you how to do it with just one, and then I'll show you how to do it with all three. So compactor bins. So say if you were just doing it with one, 
you would just pop that bin here and then let it just fill up that bin. So you'd have one space and then two spaces for pies. However, if you wanted to use more, let's get a couple more compactor bins. So we'll build those very quickly. Now, I'm going to quickly move this one out of the way because I need to get through. So say, for example, if you wanted to do it with three, what we would need is rotating grabbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to get two of them. And we're going to connect those rotating grabbers from this smart grabber. So one going up and one going down. So in this case, we'll go one here and then we'll go one here. Make sure they're facing in the right direction. And then you're going to enter practice mode. So you turn the smart grabbers so they're facing the right way. In this case, we want them both pointing to the right. And we'll leave practice mode. And now all we have to do is place the compactor bins at the end of each of these three grabbers. And boom, we now have a three bin setup on our compactor. So if I quickly enter practice mode again, you will see what we're going to aim to do. So as this machine starts to clog with uh, pie bases, it's going to start pushing them into the compactors. With a three bin setup, it will almost never fully clog because you've got so many room to hold pies. So it's going to keep going onto there until it can't, and then it'll start going down onto this one, and then it will go down the proper smart grabber. But by that point, the first one's done, and the machine unclogs again. So with that in mind, let's get back to the main part of the automation, which is dumplings. So in order to do the next part, we're going to go ahead and get some combiners. Now, combiners are very special. So what they do is they take an item from, say, one location, push it to the next, and combine it. Of course, if the item is applicable to be combined. So in this case, it is. So what we're going to do is we're going to place the combiner. Now, you see there's two blue arrows on it. Those arrows are always pointing outwards. So we don't want to push it so that it tries to combine upwards. We want to push it so it's combining to the left. So we want it to grab from here onto here. And then we want it to combine from here onto the next combiner. Because there are three things that need to be combined, we need two combiners. So what's going to happen is dough ball is going to come down. It's then going to come on here. Is my mouse on screen? No, it's not. So it's going to take from here, go onto here with the ball of dough. It's then going to combine with the carrots on here. And because there are arrows pointing to the left, it's going to force it onto this side here. You don't need another combiner for that, though. We could just use a normal counter. So ball of dough on here, going to merge with the carrots here. And then those two are going to merge with the meat here. And if I'm right, then you'll see it in action right about now. They're all going to combine onto this. And boom, there we go, combined. Now, we're still not done, because that's only a piece of it. We still need to do a little bit more to get the fully thing done. So, what we could do here is extend the system more and do that. But, if you have another rapid mixer, we can use that. So, let's go with another rapid mixer. So we can shorten the system by implying another rapid mixer here. So when it all combines, it automatically gets chopped here. So if we go to practice mode. So once all the stuff is done combining, it's going to go straight into this mixer. And it's going to go ahead and start chopping. And there are our dumplings. But we're still not done. Because we still need to cook those dumplings. So in order to do that, there's a couple of other pieces we need. So we are going to need another grabber. Now, this can be a normal grabber. This does not need to be a smart grabber because the normal grabber won't pull from this until it's finished chopping. The interaction between grabbers and certain um, items is a bit weird. It's something you do have to learn. We want to make sure that's pulling away. And then we're going to pull that straight onto a safety hob. So with a safety hob, safety hobs cook slow, but they don't burn anything. Now, it's not bad for dumplings, because dumplings cook incredibly fast, even on a safety hob. So now, with that automation in mind, we can now automate it all the way to the point of being cooked. And boom. And there's no clogs, there's no nothing stopping the system until the system gets full. But even then, it's not a problem. We take off, and it's going to keep the system rolling. Now, we're still not done, because if you want to make sure that this system is foolproof to last you for quite a while, assuming you go to overtime days and want to keep going, there's one more addition we can make. 
So we're going to go ahead and get another smart grabber. Now we're going to teach it to grab a dumpling that's cooked. So let's say from here. Uh, I need to move it first. Never place it next to something if you're trying to smart grab a specific stage because it'll start pulling. So don't do that. Uh, practice mode. So we're going to quickly go back into practice mode and wait for a full cooked dumpling so we can teach the smart grabber. Now we've taught the smart grabber. Perfect. So now with that done, we can place that over here and make sure it's pulling in the direction you want it to pull. And finally, the final item for this automation is a prep station. So you can use a normal prep station or a frozen prep station. The frozen is preferred because that will keep food in it between days. Uh, but you can use a normal prep station if you don't have the, the funds to get a frozen one. But we use frozen for this. And this is automation complete. So now it's going to automate everything and place it in a four prep station. Meaning you'll always have four prepared if you use a frozen. So the system fully in action. It's going to go down and then straight onto the smart grabber into the frozen prep station and boom we now have our dumplings automated i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe because it really does help with the algorithm don't forget to turn on those notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams and don't forget to join me on my socials those are all linked down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one